Okie dokie. In this video, I'm talking about my second brain. Um, so this is the collection of all of my notes I've been taking over the last several years now. Um, all the notes i taken were in Trello, uh, then Notion, um, and then after that in Rome Research. And then I quickly switched over to this one, which is Obsidian. Um, and now I'm sort of full time with uh, Foam. And um, Foam is just a collection of VS Code extensions, um, which give you the sort of um, the look and feel of Obsidian here and Rome Research. We just get these nice graph visualizations of how your all of your notes are connected together. So um, on Twitter, I was been sharing the uh, the visualizations of my collated data over the last several years. And uh, I've been asked a couple of questions. So um, just gonna run through that now. So Obsidian and um, Foam. So really Obsidian for me at the moment, it's, it's just for the, uh, the, the data visualization. Um, so when you go to um, Obsidian, you would prompt it to open up your collection of notes. Um, so you just keep all of your notes in Markdown. Um, this is one of the reasons why I liked it over Rome or Notion is that you have everything locally, which you can manage yourself. And it, it wasn't much of a leap for me once I had all my notes locally in Obsidian that I decided, uh, well, that I found out you could do it in VS Code. Um, because if you just uh, click on that, open a vault there, it's opened up on the other window here. So go to where it is, here it is. Where is it? Why can't I find it? There you go. <laughs> so uh, there's just this graph visualization and this is just some, some notes I've put together just for this demonstration here. So um, with Obsidian, you get some, some nice features. Um, like this this theme here um, you get your settings you can have spell check um, readable length which I think um, it just truncates it down for you but um, I can do that in VS Code with Prettier um, strip breaks not sure what that is um, basically I've, I've enabled the themes here that contrast needs to change on that up there um, so this is 80s neon um, and you can pick out any other theme you like um, and then this daily notes thing here where I could sort of group them into a folder and then if you click on your um, all these buttons here open today's note it'll just create a new file for you um, or today's date with with that format 2020 month day which is the correct date format in uh, we should use but like I said earlier I've been doing my uh, note taking in foam so let's just take a quick look at foam repo here just a collection of um vs code extensions um and it, if we go to the the starter gotta find i can't uh where is it got it open here right let's just go back to the um there it is foam template Mm -hmm. So, um, the foam template is just a collection of extensions here. So, when you first open it up this template, you will get um, a, a prompt in the bottom right hand corner of um, VS Code to say these are recommended. Would you like to install them? And then, uh, if I go over to the extensions here, um, I've got all these installed. Um, the only one I'm not using is this grey matter theme. I use Night Owl and I use um, Victor Mono for the fonts just because I like this nice um, color sized. Uh, I, um, it, I, I like the, um, what's it called? The, the cursive um, look of the, the fonts here. And that's the one reason on, on, on the uh, comments. Um, use what font you like, use what theme you like, any what mine is. Um, so, um 
These are just recommended, you don't have to install them, um, but you will need foam um, and you will need um, this for the wiki links and then this for the um, markdown links for the graph. Um, and go to today's, yesterday's notes. Today's notes, third. Right, let's put these as yesterday's. Um, and then we'll go over how to create a note for today. Um, so um, I think Stefan asked in these questions, um, which extensions do you use? That's covered in, in there. So what other extensions I use on top of that? Um, I use um, something called C spell. So if I go to my extensions here, where is it? Code spell checker, um, which is a lifesaver for me. Um, so you can see things like, um, yeah, you misspell something, you'll get a um, little squiggly line. So if you do control dot, you can correct that, save it. Um, and you'll see here, I've got my tags. Um, you could, it's a, it's a, it's not a nice word. Um, you, know, you, you could put your, your tags in, in your markdown like this. Um, but I prefer the, the sort of reading experience with this split screen here. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like the, the reading experience it gives in sort of parsing stuff. So I, I prefer to not have that in there and just have my notes like that. Um, and hit save. And then the other thing with the tags here, the markdown links, I think. If you hold down command, hover over these, you'll notice I had a, a file created here. The same for React. Um, I think with, let's just delete these again. Delete these and this one here. And then if we go to show graph, which is control shift P, shift P, show graph, you'll see it's still not linked. Um, but I think in Obsidian, um, it just links it anyway. So what I need to do in here, let's just close this um, and then go to daily notes. Uh, let's go to for this here um, it was if you hit save and you had your um, uh, your tag here let's say um, it, it would sort of create generate some quite oh, I didn't like the look of it but it would generate a, a link to this file um, but I think in a recent update that seems to have gone now so what I do now is I just link directly to the markdown file. And then if I hit save, um, yeah, you'll see this immediately joined here. Um, and then the same for React here. This is another tag I want to create. So if I hold down control, and then this will create React. And then again, um, I want to have this just linking directly to the markdown file. And hit save, you'll see another link just being created here. Um, but depending on how many sort of tags you tag things up with, this can all get quite cluttered. Um, I think this is one of um, Stefan's questions, how do you organize your notes? Um, so for me, for the tags at the moment, I'm just having these in a folder called tags, and then just um, dropping things like daily notes, tags, uh, React in here. They're all managed in there, but then uh, if you want to sort of add to those notes as well, then it can get quite cluttered. So I'm sort of keeping those in there as just things to tag stuff up with and then create these links. Um, so why is that gone weird? I don't know. Let's um, close that for now and then hopefully it will re render when I go back to the notes. So again, for me, um, daily notes, change that to markdown file hit save um, so for for daily notes I like to do this where it's all grouped into a folder you don't necessarily need to do that uh, I like doing it that way um, let's just change all of these these tags now Perfect. hit save um, so for me again I like to have um, a nice um, cropped width um, so I do that with you can do it in your prettier settings 
um, which I think is if you do control comma open up your settings but I like to do my prettier settings per, per project I'm working on so uh, you can do that with a uh, I'm not sure if you can do it in the actual .vs code settings file but I could do it in a uh, package JSON file and then in here so this is going to be an object and I have a, a code snippet for that so then um, sorry let's just review what I've done here so I have a, a print width for 70 and a prose wrap which will just wrap the mark down to the next line um, so if I hit save in here now I have it in a nice so I don't like to have text scrolling you know spilling across the whole screen I like to have it narrow just so my head's not swinging from side to side reading the text um, so that's one thing to put in now um, what's Stefan so asked here, so um, automatically open preview and graph. View. Oh, yeah. so I've already gone over that. Control I, I prefer it over Obsidian. Um, even when the, uh, oh, there you go. The Gatsby links worked. Fine. Cool, cool, cool. So there you go. My long, very long winded expression, explanation as to why I prefer uh, foam over Obsidian and how I sort of manage my um, my second brain and just my note taking in general. So there you have it. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.